Hey, morning, Alex. Oh, good morning, Mike. You're in a hotel again? Yes, and you're in the horn section again. Uh, have you just woken up? More or less, yeah. I thought I'd take it easy. Sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves with these games. Mm. And I thought maybe I'd have a relaxed game, you know? Will, be be out with, will he be out with PJs? Key, yeah, I think Key will be up and yeah, look, Key's absolutely established in the mm. day. I can't imagine him not wearing that in bed, though. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hello, Mark. Morning, Horn. I would like to go on record as saying I enjoy the morning games. Well, the hotel has given me th- uh, a set of three little snacks. What have we got here? I've hopefully Pringles and wine. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 let me tell Usual you... shit eyes. <laughs> I don't think I... Well, I don't know. You're cheating. Well, You've let... written all your answers on your hand. Yeah, he's got his answers on his hand. Look, he's got his first ten I moves. I am a stand-up comedian, comedian doing the best. A stand-up comedian. Better I'm than the rest. All I right. Am. Better I'm than the rest. I do it in my face. I'm a yes. stand-up comedian. I'm better than the rest. Mouse. My fifth joke is mouse. <laughs> Obviously, I expand upon these things. They're not one-worders. You didn't just go out and say, mouse, ladder, Nicholas Hancock, off I go. Cleaner, Guinness, pointless, Mike. Mouse, lockdown. Thank you very much. I've been Tim Key. I am better than the rest. I am better than the rest. <laughs> well, so I'm, I'm, sure I am, I'm sure I am. I, will, I do it in my best. <laughs> Right, come on then, come on then, keep to start, come on, come on. I'm going to pick someone who I was on with last night. It's Rosie Jones, and I'll go on record as saying this. She's fantastic, and she also brings quite a lot of chaos to the table. Oh, she certainly does. Let's phrase it in this manner. No more cherry pies. Sure. Yeah. So- no more cherry pies. No more names which go, duh, duh, duh. Cherry pie. Rosie oh, okay. Jones. Cherry pie. Rosie. Rosie Jones. Mark Watson. <laughs> yes, Daniel Day Lou is. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Lay. <laughs> yeah, no more names. <laughs> Kim Kardashian West. Hang on, did you say Tim Kardashian West? I might call you Kim T for a bit and see what happens. Someone someone did that. Who used to call me that? Well, it was in Singapore. Oh, oh shut up, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do cry, but you did that. Looking. Like Biggles. Kim Kardashian West. No. no more people called West or Biggles. Is that simple? No, what it is is... Uh... <laughs> no more Directions or Biggles. No more Directions or Biggles, yeah. No more people, they've been, they've been in an earthquake. You can, you can prove oh, it. Oh, not another one. We had that last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not doing that then. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought I hadn't done it before. <laughs> You've been hacked. <laughs> uh, all right, Biggles. Well, yeah, yeah. No more people that have that have flown a plane. Then no more people you can you can prove them flying a plane. Yes. Beep beep. Coming through. Uh, put the sat nav on. We're off to Brazil. <laughs> John Embury. I'm just going to go boring. No more men in the sort of around you know six in their sixties or something. Yeah, yeah. No more men in their 60s. I actually think it's not a bad category. Oh. Is 60 in your 60s and is 70 in your 60s? I don't think 70 is in your 60s, to be absolutely fair to it. 60 definitely isn't, definitely isn't in your 70s, so let's put it that way. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I'm just checking what 60s are. Now, can I ask yeah. a question? I worry this might be a stupid question, but is 65 in your 65s? <laughs> I don't like it when you say things like you're in your seventh decade or even the 21st century. Do you remember when we did the live game and Key, we couldn't uh, agree what the night time was? You've got to be careful with these things. <laughs> Everyone? Don Embury, no more boring people. Well, no more people that are a boring sort of age. Right, but it was men I'm come for. So men. you can have boring women. You can ah. have boring, boring, boring women. <laughs> yeah, that's the symbol for boring women. Yeah, it's because they're pulling a trolley. Oh, all right. Yeah, I suppose boring women do have a trolley. 
They sometimes do, with all their boring things in it. What are your top three things, boring things, that a, that a boring woman would have in her trolley? I've got my graph, I've got my hat, I've got my uh, soup. It's great that you've got your graph. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my rice, I've got my crayons. <laughs> oh, 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 no! I've got my dentures. What have you got in your trolley, what, uh, Margaret? I've got my atlas, I've got my Swede, I've got my tickets to the British Museum. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm okay. I've got my tree ball mints, I've got my cassettes, <laughs> I've got my wire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Penelope Pet Stop. No more glamorous ladies. Well, look, are you sure? Hmm. What? Well, I mean, I, there's a challenge, isn't there? Probably. I didn't think of I didn't think, I genuinely didn't think of this, any of the categories then. <laughs> I just, well, one, what, one of the main things about Penelope Pet Stop is that she flies a plane. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she probably does actually. Well, do you want a reprieve? Because it's only sort of two minutes into the game. Do I need a reprieve? Do um, you want me to retract my challenge? N- no, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll do, we'll do what you can from your end. But um, <laughs> what I would like to do is just check that she does fly a plane. Yeah, I think the, the bare minimum we can do is at All least right. check <laughs> that. Yeah. Well, keep Watto on the work. Yeah. All I can work with her, with her little scarf flying behind her in the wind. Like Biggles. Yeah, yeah, just like <laughs> I, I mean, she's obviously dressed in flying attire quite a bit, but well, like here, uh, she's, she's clinging to a plane, but some other goon is, is, is well, firing it. Well, I'm, I'm, at the moment, I'm staring down the barrel of not needing a reprieve. If you can't find evidence in 90 seconds, I might be all right here. No, there's, there's a fair bit of her looking like she's about to fly a plane. But, no, OK, um, but let me say this. Horn, don't sit there like you're doing me a fucking favour. I said someone who doesn't fly a plane. I think what we are going to find is that the Southern Sarahs will produce dozens of pieces of evidence that she does fly a plane, but that's not the that's, oh, that's that's point. That's not point. The Southern Sarahs will be getting out their screwdrivers and undoing Google, and underneath the bonnet they'll find more or less only planes with Penelope Pitstop pilots in them. My problem is I can't remember the category at all because I was so excited that you played Penelope Pitstop. I think it was No More Glamorous Ladies. That's all I've got. It was a lot like that. Was it that? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I haven't got a clue what it was because I thought it wouldn't be relevant because I thought the category would be gone because she's right yeah. I didn't listen to it. I didn't listen to it at all. I'm going to have to say something similar to what Mark says, but just not his category. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, we've all done that. We've all done that piggybacking. I'm going to have to piggyback. Is it possible to piggy from? Yeah, not yet. Would it be possible for you to give me a piggy from, or could you piggy from me and tell me what the category was? No more pretty ladies. Was that what it was? <laughs> well, what was it? Lockie, what was the category? Okay, let's see what we can do with this uh, sort of state of affairs then. Yep. Well, uh, Miss Marple. Oh, no, so it's not No More Glamorous Ladies. I mean, I just haven't got a clue. There's only been four categories. I'm on my way out. I've lost a category, and I don't know what the category is. Well, he's become very pessimistic, hasn't he, in his older age? Can I just quickly tell you a joke? Mouse. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's quite funny. Well, I, I'm ch- I, I think I'm changing it to Rose West. I think I think we will have a conversation then. Miss Marple, n- no more people who have witnessed a murder, who have been present at a, a murder. Right, I've got the category. Oh. I understand it, and I'm going for Nick Mohammed. No more people. Nine, in nine seconds, you find them doing a magic trick. Brilliant. Hmm, very nice. Bagpuss. <laughs> no more people. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Asterisk. No more nominations, shall we say. Who, in 90 seconds, you can find a photo or ever, or, or an image of them doing something that we all are guilty of from time to time. Murder. Sleep. Oh. oh. Is it one of the only categories? We do. We all do it. Ever met anyone who doesn't do it? Yes. Who's that? Tom Baston. Tom Baston. Whoa. He eats, he sleeps, he cries, he is extremely wise. Um, oh, Boston! Whoa! So, he goes for little walks, I listen when he talks to me. Yes, Tom Boston! <laughs> I want, I want to you to put them in your eyes. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not, not easy, bad. Though. It's not bad. No, they're slightly too big. They're just slightly bigger than you'd want. Okay. Oh, it's so frustrating. Get them going there. Get them right, going. Right. It's just like Herbert Clunkerdunk, isn't it? 
Oh. oh, they won't quite go in it. Is it vulgar if I take a trip to Istanbul and get old Mert Aksak out of his cage again? Yeah, Mert Aksak. And the category, because you don't just name a name, you, you also have to see that category. I shouldn't worry about that because we're going to have a very quick side game oh. of how many of us have been to Istanbul. Do, now, do, 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 do. How many have been to Istanbul? Do, do, do. How many have been to Istanbul? Do, 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 do. How many have been to Istanbul? Well, I'm going to start the bidding with two of us have been to Istanbul. Oh, do, do, do. How many of us have been to Istanbul? Well, if bidding has to go up, doesn't it? So I'll quickly get in with three. And that means I have to go for four and hope that Dinky Donk's been. <laughs> and hope that you've been. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good game of how many of us have been to Istanbul. Um, we don't say, do we? We don't say. It's, it's hard to even do a category for him because he's such a sort of enigmatic figure to us. We we'll know more people who either have er uh or um in, in their names. Oh, right. No more hesitation. No more hesitation names, yeah. Or, or uh, like UH, because Americans say that if they're hesitating. What about wait a second? <laughs> yeah, or wait a second, or hang on a, hang on a minute. <laughs> what about someone with just a big space between the two? <laughs> yeah, no, no more people with like a really, really long gap between the first name and the surname. <laughs> what have you got, Horn? Have you got normal space between Alan Horn? Well, it's bigger than normal, but it's, it's not, it wouldn't count as a hesitation. It's just a slightly bigger gap than normal, isn't it? So it's like when someone brings you on, they say, Alex, Oh, uh, that yeah. was too big, actually. It was a bit smaller than that. Jiminy Cricket? Oh, no, I don't think I will go for that person, though. <laughs> I, I want to go for Marion Keys, but I don't know if you'll um, challenge me on that one because of the category I've lost. I've met Marion Keys, for one thing. <laughs> right, what's his category? No more people you've met. <laughs> I guess no more people where either the first name or the second name is like a plural. More than one key. I know you don't spell it that way, but it's a plural, isn't it, Keys? So, so weird, kind of weird, sort of, you know, plural sounding stuff, you know? No more words that are phonetically the same as the plural of a noun. No, but what you're trying to say is no more sort of weird, kind of, you know, what the, f- what the fuck is going on here? No. No, no I'm not saying that. <laughs> I want you to challenge her so I find out what the category is. I'll do it, I'll do it, yeah, because at least then that puts one out of his misery. It's a challenge, and it is, it is the mystery category, which is, well, it was, as you thought, all along, no more glamorous ladies. I, now, wonder, I guess people have been glamorous, even if they're not glamorous. What, you go through a glamorous stage? Well, no, you I've looked glamorous before. You're fighting glamour with youth. No, no, I'm saying you might look glamorous for a ball, but then the next day you look like shit. It looks like you're on the kitchen floor now with a camera above your head like that. It does, doesn't it? And I, I sort of like it, yeah. She's been interviewed for a magazine called Glamour. Old Glamour, yeah. That doesn't tell you everything, but it doesn't tell you nothing. She's written a book called The Dress, which is a glamorous, gripping, romantic novel. She bounced back with a sexy book. We've all bounced back with a sexy book. I I think I am going to get my trousers on. (laughs) Right, okay. I don't mind that angle. He gets nice hotels, doesn't he? I am a successful touring comic. (laughs) You reckon he's stuffed that wardrobe full of clothes? He's got his front row in that wardrobe. She's not synonymous with the word glamorous. Right, and that's the category. Was it synonymous with glamour? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a definition of glamorous. That will help us. I've got my trousers on. Right, glamorous. I've looked at a picture of her. She looks lovely. What? Why are you, you, why are you doing your own work? Well, because you're taking so long and you decided to look up dictionary definitions of the word. Can we not do your system of, well, that's 90 seconds, we have to move on quickly, please? I can hear a little man getting impatient. I won't say who. Well, if you describe someone or something as glamorous... Big if. You mean that they are more attractive, exciting or interesting than ordinary people or things. Is Marion Keys more interesting than, uh, than other people? Is that than what ordinary people. Than ordinary people. <laughs> I, think you're in, I think you're in a bit of trouble here, Horn, because I think she's more interesting than ordinary people. Whatever you do here, I'm not walking, so we might as well carry on. He's not going, he's not, he doesn't accept that being interesting is part of being glamorous. I doesn't. think I'm sort of saying that Hawking is glamorous. I don't really agree with ordinary people either, what, 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 what that definition is. I don't I, think he would want to be classified as a glamorous person. I think it's quite a demeaning word to, to, to ascribe to someone. Yes, there speaks an ordinary person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking certainly at Jack Lazowski. I thought you might be looking at him. Okay, then. What do you think of this? Okay, then. What do you think of this? Okay, then. What do you, what do you, what do you think of this? This, this, this. All righty, then. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of this? This, 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 this. 
Come on, then. <laughs> poor old <laughs> one. <laughs> well, poor old audience as well. I mean, there's a lot of people that are poor olds at the moment. The audience yeah, they... have the blessing of this being edited. I wish I could play an edited game. Well, you did play an edited game in that you didn't listen to all the categories. <laughs> I suppose I'd have to go for... Can you go, I suppose, with my little eye? I suppose, with my little eye. That's amazing when well, there's something else on your face that would rhyme with suppose as well. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but I suppose, with my little enamel toes, <laughs> something beginning oh. with. <laughs> I got a cat. I got a cat. I got a dog. <laughs> I got no animals. My dog is completely naked. I've got some standards about that. Have you? Yeah, about how, when people put clothes on dogs. Could you just tell me in one word, like as if it was on your hand? Dogs. <laughs> Ant. McPart... 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 McPartland. Is that his name? I think it's McPartlin, yeah. So, yes, yeah, sorry. I, I, I suppose, with my little enamel toes, Ant McPart... Something beginning with Ant McPart... McPartlin. <laughs> no more people who there is evidence that they have been to your friend of mine. Australia, mate! Would you, if they came knocking, Big if. put the old uh, safari jacket on and uh, hop on the plane? Yes. Yes. Snakes in my eyes, bugs in my, in my mouth. Eye. Give me all the things. Snakes in my eyes, eye. bugs in my mouth. Give, Give me, me all, all the things. things. Snakes in my eyes. I guess let's we'll have a look, shall we? Find some footage of him asleep in 90 seconds. That would, yeah, maybe there is footage of him asleep. That'd be good telly. I I, I, it might not be on telly. Yeah, I'd more thought it'd be a photo of him in bed. Who's taking that photo then? Death. Death? Death, Mac, Death McParlin. I forgot who they were called Anton Death. <laughs> Do the work. <laughs> oh, Anton please, it'd be nice. Please. You told me to get something that was one foot tall to put in that gap. I've done it and I get nothing, I get no credit for it. You did get credit. I said I've got a dog. I'm going to paint that cat this afternoon. I've just decided. Any requests? Black. Green. Green. French flag. French flag. Chickle or shat. Chickle or shat. No. Uh, What's the point of asking for requests? No, I'm going to go green. And also, Warren, while you're down there, can you do a quick impression of Kermit? Ah, I'm a frog. Get off my patch. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you'd say things like, I'm frog, get off my patch. <laughs> The trouble is, he's got quite a distinctive voice, so I thought you might have done that. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't a frog. <laughs> I suppose it's either do Kermit's voice or do your own voice and say, I'm frog, get off my pig. Oh, I'm pig. I'm in love with Kermit. I'm someone else. I do drums. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Uh, he's not... He that's doesn't have a Yeah, that's who we want, isn't it? Oh, is it? I had deck in my head. I had the other one in my head the whole time. I didn't know which one's which, classically. They're both asleep in this. They both appear to be asleep in this picture, I think. See you later, chaps. I've had a great day. I've had a great time. I love being involved. I'm one of the founding fathers. And I walk. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking from the scene. I'm I'm walking. walking. I'm walking. walking. What a joy it's been. I'm walking. I'm walking. I lost the bloody game. I'm walking. I'm walking. Horn is to blame. When he laughs, his camera goes up and down. His camera is strapped to his boy. Yes, my camera, camera is strapped to his boy. Joy. Well, my camera is just a sex toy. Joy. And I've got it attached to my boy, friends. Right, look, okay. Can you stop moving your boy? Because the camera's moving about. I've not brushed my teeth yet. What, you think I have? I think between us, we've got over 100 unbrushed teeth, seeing it. Well, I don't know how many teeth we've got. 32. Well, have we got over 100 teeth then? We're, we're looking at 96 teeth that haven't been brushed. I was counting. Um... <laughs> well, Lockie's not brushed hairs, I suppose. Lockie! <laughs> would, would, would you at least like notice it if I, if I, if I painted that green? Next week, well, would you, you like paint it green? Oh, fuck off then. I'm not painting. <laughs> I'm fed up meeting on Zoom with you two pair of pointless twats. Dip it in the tank and then you've got it green. You've got to do some, something more interesting. Right, so now painting a cat on a Friday afternoon is, and I'm quoting you here, not interesting. Not interesting. You're dipping a porcelain creature into a bucket. Well, that's not definitely going to be my method of painting. Why would you do any other way? 
Well, because I can get paint that about that size and paint this cat, or using your method, I have to get about six tins of paint like that and put them into a bucket I've just so had... I can do the... just so I can do... get get my dog. Never heard anyone describe paint as this size paint. Paint is yeah. paint. You don't get that size paint. You don't get paint extra large paint. paint. <laughs> why, would you, why, would you, paint please? why would you have measurements of paint? You go get I'm medium paint, or small you? paint. Yes, I'll go get some paint. Oh, weirdly, I bought 15,000 gallons of paint because I don't believe that paint comes in any sort of specific you amount. Say, you didn't say gallons, you said small paint. Yeah, I would get a small paint from the paint shop. <laughs> you have to go into the paint shop and say, can I have a small one, please? Can I have some small paint, please? No, I'll pick it I'm off the shelf. I, I know where I'm going and I'm going to do this. You think they arrange them in small, medium and large paints? I think they arrange you into whether or not you're a wanker. <laughs> I, I think it then is. Is it a case of actually now? Um, Anne from the Famous Five, <laughs> Ooh. the little, the youngest one, and the Famous Five are Julian, Dick, George, and Anne. Yeah, Timmy. Your fifth one is, is your namesake, the dog. Yeah, I suppose with my actual toes, he doesn't look at all happy, does he? Constipato. In this game, that can Constipato. Be- you, you look constipato, I said. I didn't say you are constipato. Well, yeah, yeah, but you implied that maybe I was constipato. No, I don't think you are. I think you just look constipato. Well, I'm not constipato. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, we're just discussing whether or not Horn looks constipato. I say, yeah, I think he did look a bit constipato, but I wasn't saying that he was. Good, well, I'm not. I was constipato when I did my A-levels. <laughs> you mean concentrating? That's it, concentrato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's difficult Italian, isn't it? <laughs> Get your hand off your head, or well, no more people that that are that are at school. No more school age people. Ooh. Well, look, we'll do a challenge because we might as well. When we're up and at them, just yeah. I don't I don't mind doing the old rollover challenge and see if you can find her sleeping. I mean, there will be illustrated books of the famous five, but I'm, I'm yeah, it's possible. I'll give it you. Off the top of my head, on five on a hike together, and sleeps in a loft. Well, that's the one thing I remember from the books. Do the work. It's whether you can find a picture of her in that loft. I'm not going by hearsay. Well, I, I, it's the first time I've ever written Anne Loft, but let's have a look. <laughs> Anne Loft and not asleep. Or, or, <laughs> when it's time for you to do the work, you maybe can choose whether or not you write Anne Loft. Uh, at least include okay. Famous Five. She's not the well, most famous well, Anne there is. <laughs> I'm now looking for Anne in that room. I think even if Horn wins this game, the amount of annoyance that he's had in the game added up will hardly be worth it for him. Anne Loft is your tactic. <laughs> Horn, I, I, you know, it's, uh, don't say I never do anything for you. I'm taking out the word loft. <laughs> Must be up nearly 90 seconds now, is it, Horn? Oh, yeah, there's one second left. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, we've got to sort of try and prove that that's Anne. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she is the youngest one, but I don't remember it being that yet. That might be the worst work anyone's ever done. I mean, <laughs> Penelope Pitt's still earlier wasn't great. Okay. Well, I've got another challenge, but that'll be the end of the game. Oof, bloody hell. Well, I don't know the famous five very well, so I'll do a challenge. Oh, this, so this is it. This is this is death or glory time. Is there any... Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. You can say what it was. I was wondering if she's witnessed a murder. But it's a children's book. They wouldn't have murders. She must have discovered something, but she wouldn't have yeah. witnessed a murder. This is the thing. I did I did mentally yeah. check this category out, and I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't actually get them seeing someone get offed. I'm glad I didn't challenge on that. Well done, Hall. You're playing well. Well done, Hall. Sometimes it's about the challenges you don't make. I might go for Coach Beard from um, Ted Lasso. He looks like me. That's why I was thinking of it. Enid Blyton... She wrote The Famous Five, didn't she? She certainly did her best to, yeah. Number of people where you can't name five more people with the same first name. I'll tell you what, no more Famous Fives, because there's no, there's no other oh, Famous Five. That's great. That's really that's good. Great. That's lovely admin horn. The trouble is I'm disappointed with that because that does remove quite a nice little one that I was about to play. No, it's so nice, but I can't do it. Tim, just because we're getting to the stage where we need, we've got it. We, you might as well burn your challenges, and then there's one each left, and then we're yeah, yeah, yeah. End game, end game. So I reckon this is an enormous hail mary. But could she have witnessed a murder? Don't think so. But I'll, I'll let's go for it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Are you so focused for this? Why are you so focused? He's just doing the work. He's doing the work, all right. <laughs> 
I think there should be more bits where you just repeat something <laughs> and say, all right, at the end of it. <laughs> I think there should be some more bits where I'm just repeating it and saying the words, all right, at the end of it, all right. Well, I'm on mum's <laughs> now. One of the mums says that she was addicted to heroin. Then there's a bit of stuff about, you know, nostalgia, not being a, gr- not, not being a free pass for bigotry. That's your time up, Mr. Chicken. Rabbit hole, I'm afraid. Um, it's, you know, just Richard Maidley. <laughs> you know. Are you, are you sure it is the same Google that you've got? The thing is, the more you read about her, the more there's just these words that you can't really say anymore that she says in the books. Yeah, Ina, Ina's been discredited a little bit, it's true. <laughs> it's not good. Well, look, we're down to no challenges each. It's the fun bit. It's the square peg. I think it's pine- Pineapple Man from... Uh, from uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've written a, a series of books about Pineapple Man. Or... Oh, hang on. They can't have Pineapple Man. Oh. Well, I think he that... might also have witnessed a murder, his own murder. You want to race, Tim? Like, head across the screen. From yeah. one side to the other. Yeah. On your marks. Hang on. Let's get him, get him on his marks. Yeah. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was quite clever of me, wasn't it? No, it was very slow. I think I beat you. Let's do it again. Well, you didn't beat me. You were after me. Ready? Any marks? Shit. Go. <laughs> what do you think about this, then? The, the, the mouse. Are you calling him the as a first Yeah. Name? And I believe I can name quite a lot of people that start with the, if that's your problem. I, I was actually going to go for the mouse after you. So I can't <laughs> <laughs> no more people who have appeared on an episode of No More Jockeys. So in other words, us three, Dinky Donk, the mouse, and Pineapple Man. <laughs> Ends off your face, on. Uh, well, and I suppose Lockheed, there's a few, yeah. Coop? Well, I'm thinking out loud now. Zeus, the one and only. Oh, oh. The big... No, but there's not five other people called Zeus. So <laughs> is well, well, a lot, isn't it? Unless you can... <laughs> it's a lot when you're starting to think of people called Zeus Smith, you're in trouble. Let's go with John the Baptist, then. Nah, I'm our dad. John the Baptist. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My dad dressed up as John the Baptist at a fancy dress party. I don't know about this, but well, I think it's got to be, have they witnessed a murder? There'll be a passage where there was loads of people got killed or, or, or something. He was in something, I think. The problem I've got is when you put John the Baptist murder, it's all going to be about his murder. Well, he, he, here's, what, here's what John the Baptist gets up to. He, he preaches to people and baptises them in the Jordan. He baptises Jesus. He does a lot of baptising, I'll give him that. <clears throat> to be fair, he earns his name. Herod wants to kill John the Baptist, but is afraid of the people. In prison, Herod, um, in prison, John the Baptist hears about Jesus' deeds. That's all of the sort of highlights on the Wikipedia page of what he sort of gets up to. It's all Salome, Herod, and then the death of John the Baptist. None of, none of this is enough to convict Horn, and if we can't convict Horn, we have to convict me. Well, if we convict you... I think you shouldn't walk, and I think I probably should walk on the grounds of um, a challenge cannot be uh, resolved. And We're all me. on the table. We're all on I'm the table. going on an honourable walk, because this is how a person has to talk sometimes. When they're out of the game, I, well, I'm walking into my bathroom now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm in the bathroom, which is the universal symbol for I'm out of the game. Is it head down the toilet? I don't flush your head in the toilet. <laughs> Uh, but it's just put the head in the toilet for a bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm glad it's enough to put my head in the toilet. Thank you, Watto. Well, well done, Watto. Two, one, one, and everything's played for.